Hello and welcome to Cinetracer 0.5. We're gonna go over building with the residential set today and maybe the commercial and urban set as well. So you may remember from the last video that the grid set here, which are the kind of generic wall pieces and everything, these are based on a uh, ceiling height of 300 or a wall height of 300 centimeters. The commercial set and urban set, they're based on 400. That's closer to how things work in the real world. So we're gonna work in residential and we're going to click and drag some pieces into our inventory uh, like this. I'm going to bring these stairs in. I'm going to bring in the 90 stairs actually and this railing. So this is a really good what is called a loadout to build a set. Get a floor, get a wall, get some stairs and get a barrier of some sort. These railings. Uh, this is how things go together. So we're going to hit one and I'm going to build a little 3x3 three three floor. This is a really good place to start for most buildings. And something that's new about this set is that when you hit two and you go to a wall piece, if you build from the outside, I am outside of the house right now, that things will be backwards because this is the outside of the house. That will matter more and more as we build more detailed sets. So the general idea with this is to be on the inside when you build the wall. So we're going to hit two. I'm going to put a window here, turn, window, 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 turn. We're left clicking, letting the snapping system do the work like this. That is a very quick house that we just built and you'll see that the outside has a work in progress house texture that we're going to be uh, updating over time with the windows in there. And what we're going to do is hop back on the inside. I'm going to hit three, which is our door for now. We're going to build more doors. You can just run right through it and we have a door. We have our windows and our simple little layout. I'm going to run inside. Next, let's build our way to the upstairs, right? So I'm going to put a staircase right here. We can put it wherever we want. It's going to snap in the place that it needs to. And the difference now with this staircase, kind of have a window there, it's not the best. The difference with this staircase is that it perfectly lines up with hitting one, your next level, right? And the old building system didn't have this. I couldn't quite figure this out before how to do that properly. But now very simply, very quickly, we have our second story with a staircase that perfectly fits in there. Uh, this one kind of anticipates you putting a wall here. Uh, we'll do that in a second, but we're going to have more variations of this as time goes on. We'll go up and let's put walls around this entire situation here really fast. Um, and I like how quick it is because I can just delete it and make new ones if I want to. It doesn't take as long as it did. Uh, here we want to take these railings of hitting five. And again, you want to be on this side of the railing, if that makes sense. I tried to make the snapping system so that it's most uh, as intuitive as possible. Like you would probably want to put this uh, on there from the safety of the inside. If you were to fly and place the railings from back here, they will actually be backwards. Uh, it wouldn't look that bad, but uh, generally place things from the safe side or from the inside. That's kind of how this is designed to work. And again, we have our staircase with our railings, and this is a fairly complicated build. Uh, if you were to try to make this in a 3D program or even in Cinetracer version.34, uh, it would have taken a long time and maybe not would have, it may not have even been possible actually. So that is the framework for the house. We'll skip the roof for now, but that's pretty complicated already. And you may be uh, done. You may not need to go any further uh, depending on what you're doing. But now let's look at some of the uh, interior pieces. So if you see any piece that has this kind of like housey texture, that's exterior and that's meant to face the outside. But you'll see what we have here is actually interior pieces. So these ones that have kind of the gray or tan texture here, these are interior pieces. I'm going to drag them in like this. So now if I hit two, we have an interior wall. And again, it's all going to snap together, uh, making it very easy to line things up. And we'll put one, say, there. Hitting Q to get back to viewfinder. You'll see that it has trim on the floor and that it has the right texture, right? We're going to be able to just place that wall here and divide up space. I'm going to do the same thing here. That's kind of what this wants, actually, is a wall there to kind of block that staircase. And we're starting to divide up the room like you would in your house. Uh, we have a in interior wall with the door. Uh, it's not the greatest one. We're going to keep working on this. Uh, I kind of want it to be open as well as an option, and I want you to be able to open the door. That will be coming. And very importantly now, we have the half wall, which this allows you to build a lot more nuanced variation into your room. So you can start to do stuff like this, right? This kind of becomes a closet if you now put a half door on it, right? There's like kind of a closety bathroom situation here. So these half walls are a new addition to the system overall that they work like this. 
Uh, we used to have something similar, but they weren't as robust. And it's going to allow you to do uh, more varied floor plans like this. We're not exactly drawing real-world floor plans yet. That's actually really detailed, and we're going to work towards that. But this is a much faster way to get a quicker result for something like that. So those are the interior walls. If you want to start breaking up space, there's going to be more coming. Uh, what I want to show next before we do the roofs, which are pretty straightforward, is uh, this kitchen piece here and this dining table, which is the wrong icon for now. But number four is a kitchen, and this is called a room. I was going to have its own category for it, but we only have time to make our first one. We're going to make more of these uh, for the case that you want to be able to say that, yeah, this is the kitchen, but I don't want to have to go put all the kitchen stuff in there. It just takes way too long. Uh, that's how I feel about it. So I've decided to make entirely prefabbed room interiors, right? That just snap perfectly in place. And you're like, you know what? I don't want that to be the kitchen. I want this to be the kitchen, right? And it won't work for every angle, but it works for most. You might change the windows because they're not designed for this. Um, and this is going to be more detailed in the future. And there'll be ones like living rooms and bedrooms. And you just drag out it, uh, the fact that you want to say that it's a kitchen, but don't really care exactly about the design of it. That's what this room concept is about. Leave a comment in the, below if you really want to see more of these. Uh, I will continue to make them. Uh, the next one is a prefab that is not an entire set. It's actually just this entire dining room. So you can spin it around. Uh, be careful as you place it, though. Going to hit Q. These are actually individual objects. Every single piece is individual that you can move it. So I'm going to hit E. And you'll see that every plate here, I'll hit G to move this. Every plate is its own piece. So if you want to delete this after, I'm going to hit L to stop snapping a little bit. Uh, it can kind of snap through objects sometimes. If you want to then now delete this stuff, well, you have a decent amount of work. It won't take that long, but uh, every piece is an individual one. So this is kind of a concept to give extremely detailed uh, pre-laid out pieces that are individual where uh, this one is a laid out piece, but they're all one piece together. So it all kind of comes down to time, in my opinion, and customizability. You can't customize this, but it's fast. This one comes pretty much how you probably want to lay it out, but it's going to take you a uh, significant more time to delete it and move it. As multi-select is not quite ready, but it is in the works. So that is the residential set. Let's just finish up this video by doing uh, a quick roof for it. So what's cool about this is that you don't need a floor anymore. If you want like kind of like a vaulted open attic roof situation, you can do that. So we're going to take our roof slope and our two roof walls and a roof flat. And we actually need one more piece to finish it. So I'm going to redo that. I'm going to put this one here, take these two, take the roof flat and the trim. I know this is a lot of pieces and we'll look at that one too, but this is the basics of how this works. We're going to hit one. We get our roof slope. And we're going to fly down here. And because we can't spin it yet, we have to just turn around. And you're just going to roof this up. That's pretty easy, right? Snaps right in there. If you want to bridge this piece, uh, because we don't have a little uh, dormer yet for it, you're going to use four and snap in. Oops, that one over there. I'm going to hit E and delete that piece. And that is the roofing system for now for this piece. You're going to hit two. It snaps in there. I'm going to switch to three. That one goes there. And you want to just put any wall piece you want for that piece uh, to bridge it in the middle. Fly around this way. Hit two. Hit three. Like that. And I'm going to hit uh, copy. I'm going to hit E. Click this one. And then hit C. And it'll duplicate it. And again, I'm going to flip around this way. Like that. Uh, like this. So I'm kind of stuck inside here, so let's run down. But actually, uh, worth noting now, actually, is that if you look, you can actually be in the attic like this, right? Or this lofted roof. This is much different than the roofing system before and a lot more flexible. So that's how that works. I'm going to run outside and just show you the trim and then the dormer, and that's definitely going to wrap it for this video, and we'll do a warehouse on the next one. Uh, you'll see that it's kind of like uh, what's going on there. We actually need what's called a trim, which if you get into the building system, columns and trims are very important in... Uh, level layout like that and that trims that piece there trim can be thought of as something that hides the transition between a wall and a ceiling something like that uh, and a column hides the transition between walls in many ways so that finishes up this roof and this is actually pretty much the prefab house that i give you 
uh, in the prefabs. This really shows you the formula to put together this house for now. There'll be more and more ways to assemble them. This is the first one we're rolling out with. What I want to show you is that we can do a lot of different variations with the roofs and all of these pieces. But at the end of the day, once you understand this system, it's all the same, right? So this is that same slope roof, but now it has a dormer in it, right? So I'm just going to uh, pop a hole through here so we can just run inside. And now we have this, right? The color is actually wrong on my part. That's my mistake. I need to fix that. Uh, but we can do lots of different variations. And once you understand how all these pieces fit together, you can build uh, very, very close to the house that you're probably trying to shoot in or want to shoot in or just want to build something cool. There'll be more and more of them, but you need to understand how a floor, a wall, a ramp, technically, barrier or railing, and the roofs all snap together. So it's a lot to take in at once, but once you get a handle on this stuff, it's the kind of bare bones system skeleton of how to build stuff really quickly without getting into full parametrics, which is uh, much, much harder on uh, on your end as the user, I would say. So that wraps it up for the residential set. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be looking at the warehouse and how to build more commercial or industrial pieces or sets together.